hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are yet to subscribe kindly hit the subscribe button below for more videos today i'm going to be showing you how to create this responsive animation on figma so without wasting any time let's get started first thing we're going to do is to duplicate this page delete this frame then draw our own mobile frame on this page I'm going to use the um, by frame. The first thing I would like to do here is to bring my top from my Mumbai frame, and also our frame color coming here is not white. I'll probably just pick that color here. We are set on our mobile view. Our side nav is going to compress into a hamburger menu. Um, we don't need this um, left arrow and right arrow. We we'll need this. Sorry, we need this frame. We need this frame. We need this. We need this. And this, these two frames here, we don't need them. But one thing to note is when you are creating um, this kind of animation that is smooth and seamless, everything that is on this frame will have to be on this frame. Some might be hidden, some will be showing, but everything that is here have to be here with the same name. So if you are having this one as advert on this page, on this frame is going to be the same advert here on this on this frame that's what make um, smart animate works so without wasting time i will start with these guys copy them ctrl c paste them here i will size this one to height of 24 pixels pixels I will need a sort of grid to guide um, my work. Cool. I'll drag these guys here. All right. Cool. The next thing I want to do is bring this overview test we are still going to come back to this guy don't forget we are collapsing it into a hamburger menu I'm going to create this guy copy it here or i'm going to reduce the size to let's say 12 turn on my grid distance between these two should be 20 I'll move this to this edge but all right the next thing we are moving from here is our wallet balance i'll copy that as well and paste it here let's try it here so for all the cards we are going to be using on the mobile view they are going to have the same width and the width we are going to be using is 240 i will open my scale to just change this on to 240. i want my height my card height to be 146 just drag this make it 146 i'm going to change this one to let's say 10 our icon size to 26 the big fraction of this test we are going to make that one 22 and make this smaller version let's say 12 our button height we are going to give it 28 
width I'm going to change that to 92 for both button 92 to make the distance between them to 18 so I'm going to drag this one down same thing for this one So this is totally up to you. You can resize it the way you want. Just drag it here. And the distance between this two to be 20. All right, cool. We are getting there. The next frame I want to put here is going to be this long um, balance. I'll copy that and then I'll paste here. All right, so I need to speed things up here, but you get the logic. We are just resizing and putting it on the mobile um, version. What I want to do is just put this card, this loan card, behind our wallet balance, so it should sort of shows um, like different card um, overlaying on each other. Just notch that. Here and put it behind our loan balance so to show that they are extra card not just the wallet balance i will bring this guy here just bring this guy just all right cool we are getting there the next thing i want to do is bring my quick action card We're almost done with the mobile version. But remember we said every element, any every design element here on this web view is going to be on our mobile view for smooth transitioning. So what we're going to do, we need this guy and we need this guy as well. I'll copy this, paste it here. All I'll do here is drag this one into this frame. But like I said, we don't need we don't need um, this card to show on our mobile version, or we don't even need it in our mobile version. Put it down. Then I want to send it to the back. So to see what we are doing. I'll, I'll click on I'll uncheck click content to see what's going on down here on this guy down 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 all right cool same thing with our adverts copy that then paste put it inside this frame and just not it to the far now you to the far right. Alright, cool. One thing to also note this our frame is just having frame one. But this our frame here is having dashboard. So for smart animation to work, everything you are trying to smart animate has to be the same name. So if our frame here is dashboard, then our mobile frame to here is going supposed to be dashboard all right this one does not really matter we can change this one to mobile yeah we are all set if we if we check on clip content this is fine the next thing to do here is our hamburger menu so i've downloaded this menu icon i'm just going to drag 
this guy into my design just like this one last thing i will do is i want to make this long rectangle to sort of resize into this hamburger menu so what i will do is this one is having like name called menu rectangle i will just copy the name you can copy this rectangle and resize it there you can as well create a new um rectangle and give it that menu rectangle so it is my new rectangle i will name this to menu rectangle and sort of give it the same size with this guy i have to resize this guy to 26 to match this uh, 24 to match the size of the notification and profile um, height so i'll change this one to 24 yeah, 24 and make sure they're the same and this one should be 24 and of course white so all i want to do is drag this guy behind this guy it's down just put it here all right cool and i want to give our frame let's say corner radius of 12. perfect the last thing to do here is this logo dashboard and all of it remember i said everything that is on this page on this frame has to be inside this frame to make um, our transition smooth copy our logo or these buttons or these buttons buttons this one ctrl c and i will just drop it here all right just like that we need these guys to be inside this frame because currently they are just inside this mobile frame but not inside this dashboard frame i'll grab all of them and sort of put them inside this dashboard frame so they are hidden and that's fine remember i said some items will be showing some items will be hidden but we need everything so if you uncheck that they are all we're supposed to be the ones that is hidden is hidden the one that is not hidden is showing so perfect one last thing i want to do is our time our status bar have it just here but we don't have it here so what i'll do is copy this guy put it on this frame and just just put it somewhere outside just like that all right we are all set <laughs> the work is done let's prototype this okay one last thing one last thing also this arrow is here but it's not on this page what i will do is just paste it here and maybe put it somewhere around here i don't really know but all i know is this guy will not be showing here so i'll give it an opacity of zero cool all set all set okay the last thing is our shadow so i'll just copy the shadow from this dashboard straight and paste it so how i do that is just click right on this edge ctrl c come here ctrl v Offset. Now let's prototype our design. We are going to be using, let me give this one flow one. We are going to be using this trigger called after delay. So after delay 800 milliseconds, we want it to navigate to our mobile, mobile frame. We don't want instant we want smart animate is out and let's use um 600 
Let's try this out. It's loading. All right. This works. So moving from here, we want it. We want it like you don't want it to be just one. So basically, that's how it works. From um, what's it called? From your desktop to your mobile. I want to do the same thing from mobile to desktop. Click on this, grab your interaction, and put it here. So the same thing we did for that one. We're going to do for this after delay, eight hundred milliseconds, six hundred. Cool. Let me close this and restart it all over again. All right. So guys, this is it. This is not um, a rocket science, just about resizing your design, giving it the same name and prototype it using Smart Animate after delay and that's pretty much it so if you've not subscribed to my channel please kindly hit the subscribe button and i'll be back with more um animation tutorial see you at the next one bye